Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a special part today, so I figured uh, we'll make a little video and show you guys what we got. But uh, we got this uh, beautiful intake manifold from Hypertune. This is their uh, new 18 injector manifold, but uh, it's a two piece. Uh, it's a billet piece versus you know the old one well the, the street or race version is is uh was made from sheet of aluminum and then the, the uh, ports would bolt onto it this one is a uh, full billet so they carve it from a piece of billet and is joined into two pieces uh i think it's a stronger design it's more more for drag and people who run like really high boost i mean We'll probably be running about 80, 85 pounds of boost. But uh, yeah, beautiful piece. You know, it's got the, kept the kind of the color scheme a little different. You got the gold, you got the red, you know. And as you can see, you got 18 injectors. So you got primaries, they're 2400 CC, they're Siemens DECA. The secondaries, they're also Siemens DECA, but they have been uh, modified by uh, fuel injector development. Uh, they flow 2750 each at a base pressure of 43 PSI. So we're going to be running a base pressure of probably 100 PSI. So, you know, that's 7,900 7, cc per cylinder at 43 base. So raise that to 100 base and then you got so much more fuel. Uh, but yeah, the uh, for those who might be interested in buying this manifold and putting it in a Supra, um, you need to uh, massage the firewall back here. So I had to hammer it slightly, maybe three quarters of an inch. So I don't want you guys going to buy one and then it doesn't fit. But it's not that bad. I mean, I had to hammer it in 10 minutes, about three quarters of an inch in. But yeah. <clears throat> Got the uh, PRP vanging clamp here, Hypertune throttle body, that's a 102 millimeter. Um, it's got the big race ports, titanium hardware that you see down there, titanium bolts. Uh, what else? BMRS fuel lines. Yeah, it touches a little bit down here too. I don't know if you can see it. It touches just ever so slightly here. So I'm going to have to trim it ever so slightly. Uh, yeah, it's coming along. Sorry about the mess. But I'm thinking I'll put the coils here. I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking of putting them right there. This way it's kind of easier to the service like if you want to like we check the plugs all the time so this way you know you just pull the pull the you know the cable there put pull the the hell do you call that the, the fire core here and you can just check the plugs and this way the coils are not sitting on the heat here and also have this coolant holes coming out the middle so it's kind of weird to put the coil packs on top there but I ran these yesterday these are uh, the CO2 lines for the wastegate. They're all from Motion Raceworks. Um, I've got this heat sleeve here to protect it from the heat. Um, exhaust back pressure sensor. It's down there. All the gates are done. Oil has been primed. That's all done. You've seen it in the last video. Uh, today we're going to do the coolant. I got uh, distilled water, and what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put vacuum into the system. I have my boring machine from my friend. You put vacuum into the system. You put about I think 25 negative inch, whatever they call that, and then it'll suck coolant into the system because the rad sits so low that if you pour here coolant, it's not going to fill the engine. So you have to put vacuum in it. So that's going to be later today. We'll be changing this to gold. I'm waiting for PRP to send me one. Um, so that way it'll kind of match. You got gold, gold, you know, red, gold, red. But back to the intake. It comes with six of these 1 8 MPT fittings. There's three on the bottom here also. 
So we're going to have to use one for the blow-off valve, one for the regulator, one for the brake booster, uh, what else? Uh, one for the map sensor. So the map sensor has a uh, fitting here, so I'll just put that over here or something. But yeah, put this down. Yeah, the rails also have these fittings here. Uh, this is if you use a return in the middle. We don't use that. We don't do that. So all I do is I feed the front here. So I feed the back and then the, the front goes into the returns. So we're going to have to block these little holes here. But I mean, look at this thing. Beautiful. Yeah, so EGT is wired. I have uh, a head temperature sensor back there. You see this little skinny wire here? That's for a head temperature sensor. So in case the water pump stops working, the sensor would see the temperature rise on the engine, but the coolant is not, and it'll shut off the engine. It's another Motec failsafe. So figured I'll do a quick video and show you guys the, the new intake. Uh, reach out to Platinum Racing Products if you want to purchase one of these. Or you can go to HyperTune Direct, but uh, PRP will uh, anodize it to your liking. See, we put, uh, he did all these little touches which look beautiful. He also added something back there. I'll show you, I oh, can't see it, but I'll link a picture. <laughs> Pretty funny. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. Uh, hopefully in two days we'll put a start up. I'm waiting on five more injectors to come. Uh, five more Siemens Decas because we're we had uh, 13, so I'm missing five. But yeah, stay tuned. Take care.